In all seriousness, even though it wasn't as important to me, it was pretty cool when not long after that, you got your first action figure and crossed it off our list. But the fact we had different priorities is partly what made this work, because let's be honest, if we'd been competing for the same things, I'm not sure we could have been friends. You were just always so driven to be the best. Maybe, but it's not like I was only focused on individual goals. Like, what about when we went to SmackDown Live and I ended up teaming with someone who was a great influence and mentor to me? I'm talking about Mickey James, of course! Stand up and take a bow, Mickey, you deserve it. You fought hard, but it just wasn't your night. Let's face it, it hasn't been your night in a long time. Now, as general manager of SmackDown Live, it's my job to present a cutting edge product, which means constantly introducing new talent to keep our brand fresh and exciting. But we can't add new talent without making subtractions. So I'm sorry, Mickey, but based on your recent performance, you can either announce your retirement or unfortunately, I'll have to make that decision for you. Wait, so you're basically forcing her out? She deserves better than that. I understand where you're coming from. But like I said, this is bigger than one person. It's about protecting the brand. There would be no brand without women like Mickey James. You know what? It's okay. It's okay. Uh, I've been doing this a long time, and maybe I've lost a step. Maybe it's just time to hang it up. No, you can't just accept this. There has to be another way. Well, there is one other option, but it would just be delaying the inevitable. Mickey can continue competing on SmackDown Live, as long as she wins. But the very next match she loses is her last. She'll do it. I will. All right. Good luck. Look, I appreciate the support, but with my record as of late, I don't think I'll be sticking around too long. Or maybe you will with me by your side. What do you mean? Big Show didn't say you had to win singles matches. Are you sure you want to set aside your own goals to do this? There's nothing I'd rather do than protect your legacy by sending you out on a winning streak. And one last title run. Win women's tag team championships with Mickey James. Welcome everyone to the most iconic talk show ever, Iconic Talk, with your hosts, the Iconics. We just said Iconic so many times. You said it again. I think we just set a record. Speaking of records, I want to remind everyone that we are now the longest running women's tag team champions ever from Australia. They're also the only women's tag team champions from Australia. Which brings us to my favorite segment of Iconic Talk. It's time for Why Australia, Australia is better. better. This is a part of the show where we educate our audience on different aspects of Australian culture and explain why Australia is better. Okay, what do we have this week? The great sport of cricket. Which has nothing to do with 
filthy little insects. No, it's actually a sport that is very popular in Australia. Think of it like a way better version of your horrible, dull baseball. To further educate you on this superior sport, let's go over the laws of cricket, shall we? There are only 42 of them. Shouldn't take long. Law one. A cricket team consists of 11 players, including a captain. That's a great law. One of my favourites. Now, law two. Hey, what are these two doing out here? There were still 41 laws to go. I wanted to learn more about cricket. I think you were the only one. Law two. The Iconics should never be allowed to have a talk show as it'll put everyone watching to sleep. That's not an actual law. Yeah, don't listen to her. Why are you two even out here? It's very rude to interrupt someone's talk show. I recommend you go back and watch this segment we did on manners. We're here because we want a tag team championship match. So you two are a team now. <laughs> what are you calling yourselves? Red and grey. <laughs> because Mickey's so old, get it? Hilarious, she really is a fossil. You've never even teamed before, so what makes you think you deserve a shot at our titles? Maybe because eight years ago in Calgary, I beat you in my very first match, and I've only gotten better since then. Way better. Oh, okay, so you're saying since a long time ago, I felt bad for my pathetic opponent and basically took the night off because I was freezing, that a decade later, when that pathetic opponent raised her ugly head with an elderly partner, they deserve a tag title opportunity? Makes sense. That was sarcasm. The answer is no. <laughs> if you think that we need to prove ourselves as a team, then we'll do it right now in a non-title match. If we win, we get a championship match. And if you win, you end my career. That whole career-ending stipulation is enticing. Yeah, I forgot about that. It would be nice to put her out to pasture. We'll do it. But only after we finish teaching everyone about cricket. Law three. Never interrupt the Iconics. The Iconics viciously attack Red and Mickey with those cricket bats. And rightfully so, they violated Law 3. Red and Mickey are going to be at a severe disadvantage going into this match with so much at stake. If you're just joining us, this is a nine title match with the stipulation that Red and Mickey can defeat the Iconics. They earn a shot at their tag team titles. However, if the Iconics win, Mickey James' career will be over. And Red and Mickey are clearly not 100% after that brutal attack by the Iconics. Look, no one wants to see a pioneer like Mickey James have her career come to an end, but. It's gonna happen sooner or later, and I have a feeling it'll be sooner, as in tonight, at the hands of the tag team champions. Drop oh, kick! Reverses, can she take advantage? Not where you wanna be at this point in the match, guys. Definitely not. Here we go, start the count. Any more punches, and Saxon's gonna have to take his shoes off the count. Oh, heavy duty right hand. Target acquired and destroyed. Oh, and she turns it around. Incredible drop. What a punt. Big cover from Billy Kay. 
Kicks out on the pinball attempt. I knew she could do it. That's a good way to make your presence felt. Suplex. Split leg drop. This match is wearing her down. She's taking on quite a bit of damage here, guys. And if she doesn't find a way to make the tag soon, this one might be over. This might be big. Fisherman suplex. Yikes, that'll either wake you up or knock you out. Elbow drop. There's Earsing. Nod. Drop kick. Perfect. She goes for the quick pin. Wow. Billy Kay gets that shoulder up. Hey, I guess you never know. Woo wee. Fall away slam. Left launched. And she's toying with her now. When you talk about so precise with the super kick. What will she win it here? Too soon. Knee drop. That was nasty. So precise. Oh, right to the back. Out on the apron. Oh, this is going to be bad. This is going to be really bad. Out on the apron. The hardest part of the ring. Her out. She better have a good reason for this, Cole, because she just had her seconds away from tapping. I think. Ah, oh, look at look at this backbreaker. Followed up with a fall away slam. Just launched. What a great job by Peyton Royce to take advantage. She's calling for it. So Chris, look at this. This could do it. One, two, three. And we have our winners. Here are your winners. The Spider, Sal, and Mickey James. Big win here in tag team action tonight. Well